This will be a short review and a demo on how to uh, put this uh, replacement grip on uh, your racket. It's the Wilson Cushionaire Classic Contour Replacement Tennis Grip. Again, this is a tennis or replacement tennis grip, not a uh, overgrip. I generally don't use an overgrip. Uh, so when I uh, bought this one here uh, in the last few months, I'm just getting back after taking several years uh, off from tennis for several reasons, uh, medical reasons, pandemic, of course. Uh, and I've had some uh, nerve damage in uh, both my, my hands, especially in my fingers, so I have trouble gripping the racket with a regular grip. I like this one because it's tacky and those uh, raised uh, edges or ridges that it has allows me to grip the racket a little bit better. I've uh, noticed I've improved in my uh, unforced errors, so uh, I'm sticking with it here. You can see the specs on it. Uh, 850 is what uh, I paid for it here. I have bought it twice uh, in the last few months. You can probably get it cheaper at a place like uh, Tennis Warehouse or Midwest Sports. But I've got uh, Amazon Prime, so uh, shipping is uh, free. But anyway, you can see the specs there. Raised edge for enhanced grip and feel. Popular, one of Wilson's most popular replacement grips. And they only have it in black right now. Pack package contains one grip with tape. And again, it reminds you that this is a replacement grip. Do not confuse it with an overgrip. Okay. And like I said before, I don't uh, use the overgrip now. And uh, this one in particular, I'm just going to uh, use it for a few months, depending on how long I play, how many times a week I play. And if it wears down, I'll just uh, replace it with another one. So here's uh, the uh, replacement grip on my main racket. You can see how it looks. So this one's on there. I've been on there for... Uh, a month or so. And this is a backup racket. I've taken the uh, replacement grip that was on it. So, I'm going to put the uh, grip on it here. Just wrapped, unwrapped it. And of course, got to remove the uh, adhesive tape that comes on it before you put it on and of course the tapered side is the one that uh, you're going to start off on the uh, on the butt of the racket so I like to start right at the top and cover as much of the, uh, the butt of the racket as possible to give protection when you Especially if you're the type that puts your hand way at the bottom and the uh, edges of that uh, butt uh, kind of pierce your skin. So I'm covering as much of it as I can here. And then I just come down the racket, continuously using tension on it. And uh, I don't want to get too much of a overlap here. So I pull on it and then I go back to check to see how much uh, of an overlap I have and then continue I want to I want to keep it as uh, as consistent as possible all the way till I get to the uh, other end of this uh, racket or toward the head of the racket Again, very little overlap. And then when you get to the end, you have to do a cut. You don't want to just wrap all of it and then just tape it up. Uh, it's not going to look too good. I'm getting to the end of this and then what I do at the end is go as far as I can and then find uh, the check where it's going to finish and then from there I, I unwrap it and then I make my cut diagonally just so I can get a, uh, a good fit 
and it matches the uh, the rest of the uh, ridges that are created when I go through this. Okay, so I'm getting toward the end here. So now I'm already at the end here. So I'm wrapping it here, and then I do my cut. And I just kind of eyeball it. You can do some other types of measurements, but I just kind of eyeball it. I'm going to wrap it with uh, tape anyway, so if it doesn't come too too good at the end, I can just cover it up with a little bit more uh, electrical tape. So I'm a little bit out of view here, but uh, all I'm doing is just uh, taping it up. Okay, so there it is. Finishing up the tape in here. And there it is. That looked too bad. And of course, I'm right handed, so this is uh, again wrapped for a right hander. I put a note on there. It's to the opposite if you're if you're lefty. I've seen I've seen some lefties uh, do the same wrap and they're okay with it. So it's kind of up to you. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.